welcome back to my channel i hope you're keeping safe and healthy you must have read the title already so in this video i'll be discussing and demonstrating the general driving rules here in canada specifically in ontario so that you can drive safely and responsibly so before hitting the road you are required to have some documents with you while you're driving these include firstly your driver's license second being your car ownership and the third one is a proof of auto insurance auto insurance is otherwise known as pink slip it is nothing but a receipt as a proof of your auto insurance it is just pink in color that's why they call it pink slip i know it's very lame uh, but it is what it is so pink slip includes your name and your vehicle information there's also one document that comes along with your pink slip that is called your policy document which is basically your terms and conditions of your auto insurance you don't need to keep it in your vehicle you can just leave it at your home so in a situation when a cop pulls you over these are the three required documents that you need to present to the cop uh, and i think these are the three standard documents you have to show a cop like everywhere in the world so guys let's begin with our today's topic first of all i'll be talking about the intersection yahan pe intersection do tarike se control kiye jate hain ek traffic signal aur dusra hai stop sign so stop sign do type ke hote hain always stop sign and the other one is directional stop sign ऑलवेज स्टॉप साइन का मतलब है हर डायरेक्शन से आते हुए ट्रैफिक के लिए स्टॉप साइन होगा एंड इवेंचुअली दे ऑल हैव टू स्टॉप एट द इंटरसेक्शन डायरेक्शनल स्टॉप साइन स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन को कंट्रोल करने के लिए लगाया जाता है इन केस अगर आपके रास्ते में स्टॉप साइन पड़ता है सो इट इज मैंडेटरी दैट यू हैव टू कम टू अ कम्प्लीट स्टॉप आपको दूसरी डायरेक्शन पर डिपेंडेंट नहीं होना है जब आपको लगे कि आपका रास्ता क्लियर है तब यू कैन मूव ऑन दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट स्टॉप साइन नाउ विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रैफिक सिग्नल ट्रैफिक सिग्नल पे हर जगह तीन डायरेक्शन पे ट्रैफिक फ्लो करता है लेफ्ट राइट एंड स्ट्रेट अब यहाँ पे हम राइट हैंड साइड ड्राइव करते हैं सो अनलाइक इंडिया राइट टर्न हमारा यहाँ पे फ्री होता है यहाँ पे कुछ इंटरसेक्शंस पे नो राइट टर्न ऑन रेड सिग्नल का साइन भी होता है वहां पे आप राइट टर्न नहीं ले सकते यू हैव टू वेट फॉर द सिग्नल टू टर्न इन ग्रीन इवन ऑन अ फ्री राइट टर्न यू हैव टू कम टू अ कम्प्लीट स्टॉप एंड चेक दर डायरेक्शन टू मेक श्योर योर वे इज क्लियर Now let's talk about left turn. Left turn यहाँ पे थोड़े complicated होते हैं क्योंकि यहाँ पे separate lanes होती हैं for left turns. That I'll show you later in the video. अब अगर आपको left turn लेना है if the signal is green, even then you have to wait until you find a gap in between the oncoming traffic because the right of way is for those vehicles who are going in the straight direction. और अगर आपका signal green है उसके साथ साथ आपका left turning arrow भी green है then you are free to take the left turn. इन सब के बाद बारी आती है पेडिस्टियंस की जिनका राइट ऑफ वे सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है कैनेडा में अगर आपको किसी भी डायरेक्शन में ग्रीन सिग्नल है एंड इफ यू सी एनी पेडिस्टियन ऑन अ क्रॉस वॉक देन यू हैव टू वेट फॉर देम टू पास I know most of you would know this but for those who don't you have to drive on the right hand side of the road and the driver's seat is on the left in the car Please buckle your seat belts क्योंकि यहाँ पे इंडिया वाला हिसाब नहीं होता यहाँ पे आपको सीट लगाना मैंडेटरी है इंडिया में भी है पर इंडिया में कोई मानता नहीं है एंड ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर आपका जो इंडिकेटर है वो लेफ्ट साइड पे है एंड आपका वाइपर स्विच राइट साइड में है ट्रस्ट में आई हैव सीन सो मेनी पीपल मेकिंग मिस्टेक अगर उनको इंडिकेटर देना था तो उन्होंने वाइपर स्विच ऑन कर दिया सो प्लीज डोंट मेक दिस मिस्टेक स्पेशली इफ यू आर गिविंग योर टेस्ट प्लीज डोंट डू दैट It's a complete failure. So here I am approaching a directional stop sign. The first thing I'll be doing here is to come to a complete stop. इसलिए क्योंकि बाकी डायरेक्शन से जो ट्रैफिक होगा वो मेरे लिए नहीं रुकेगा देन आई चेक बोथ द डायरेक्शन से कहीं कोई ट्रैफिक तो नहीं आ रहा है अगर इफ माई वे इज क्लियर तो मैं आगे ड्राइव करूंगी आल टेक द टर्न अभी मेरा नेक्स्ट स्टॉप साइन जो है वो है ऑलवेज स्टॉप साइन डोंट वरी आपको दूर से ही दिख जाएगा अब यहाँ पे जो पहले व्हीकल आया था वो रुक के और चला गया अब मेरी बारी है मैं कंप्लीट स्टॉप पे आई हूँ एंड देन मैं आगे मूव कर जाऊंगी इसमें ये ध्यान रखना है आपको कि जो पहले आगे रुकेगा वही निकलेगा इंटरसेक्शन से जस्ट गिव यू अनदर एग्जांपल आई एम अगेन अप्रोचिंग ऑलवेज स्टॉप साइन आई डोंट नो आपको दिख रहा है कि नहीं बट हर डायरेक्शन में स्टॉप साइन लगा हुआ है अगर आपकी लाइन ऑफ साइट क्लियर नहीं है यू कैन ऑलवेज मूव अ लिटिल बेट फॉरवर्ड जब आपको लगे कि रास्ता क्लियर है कोई नहीं है देन यू कैन टेक द टर्न सो आई थिंक बाय नाउ यू नो द ट्रेल लुक लेफ्ट लुक राइट ऑल क्लियर टेक द टर्न अब 
Again, I'm approaching a directional stop sign, which is connecting me to the main road. My line of sight was not clear, that's why I stopped a little bit ahead of the sign. If you can see, there is a pedestrian approaching towards me. So as a courtesy, I'm gonna put my vehicle into reverse. Check both the directions for the traffic. But remember, if you want to turn the lane from the opposite lane, then turn the lane from the right of the lane first, and then the lane from the right of the lane. Here you can see a lane is starting on my left, so I'm gonna merge into that. This is the left turning lane. You can also see the left turning sign on the road. The signal is now green, but not with a green arrow. So what we have to do is to wait for the oncoming traffic to pass. While taking the turn, guys do not blindly follow the vehicle ahead of you. You have to check for yourself. Wait, check and take the turn. Guys, you always have to prepare yourself ahead while taking turns so that you can get into turning lanes. Otherwise, you'll be one of the idiots on the road. And I'm sure you don't want to be that. Now, I'm waiting at the signal to take the left turn. This time, the signal is green with green arrow, which means I'm free to take the turn and I don't have to wait for the opposite traffic to pass. Just like left turning lane, this is right turning lane. Right turns are free in Ontario, but on a red signal, you have to come to a complete stop. Before that, as you prepare to turn, always use an indicator. Scan for pedestrians and bicyclists, and then check the other directions for oncoming traffic. If clear, take the turn. And guys, do not change your lane while taking the turn because it can interfere with the traffic. If you see a pedestrian at an intersection on marked or unmarked crosswalk with clear intent to cross, you are required to stop. There are high penalties for drivers who endanger pedestrians. As shown before, if you see any pedestrian approaching you and you are in their way, always back up your car because that's considered a common courtesy in Canada. Now I am in a shopping plaza. Here you have to be extra careful as a driver because people will be exiting or entering the stores and walking towards parking lots. You have to continuously scan your surroundings and whenever you see pedestrians, always try to stop for them to pass regardless of any stop sign. Here in Canada, if you yield to pedestrians, you will see them giving friendly wave as a thanks, which I consider really sweet and generous. Just to show you guys, I'm actually standing in the blind spot, but in the side mirror, you cannot see me. Blind spots are the zones that you don't see in the side mirrors. You see them by turning your head and looking through the rear passenger window. Therefore, when changing lanes, you have to check for vehicle in your blind spot. In the side view mirror, you can see a vehicle approaching in the right lane. So as soon as it gets into my blind spot zone, the blind spot monitoring system of car turns on to make me aware of it. You should not completely rely on the technology and manually check your blind spot yourself. So guys, it's time to get on the highway. To get on it, you'll find an entry ramp from where you can merge into the highway traffic. You will be warned with merging traffic sign on your right that indicates which lane will be merging into the other. You have to signal and increase the speed to the speed of traffic on highway before merging, which is usually above 100 km per hour. Always check your blind spot first and then merge. So on highway, 
left lane is for high speed traffic and the right lane is for slow speed traffic. If you are driving in high speed traffic lane and you see a fast vehicle approaching, you should move to your right lane when safe. Now I am heading to exit the highway. For that you have to prepare yourself ahead just because like entry ramp, there is an exit ramp and if you miss it, there is no going back. Just you can see in India, people stop and reverse and eventually they take the same exit. If you do this here, you will be putting someone else's life in jeopardy and you can be heavily fined. Even if you are using navigation, you should be aware of the name of the exit and distance to the exit ramp. As I'm exiting the highway, now it's time to reduce the speed because I'm entering low speed zone. In Canada, emergency vehicles include any vehicle with activated flashing lights. It can be paramedics, fire truck or police vehicle. Whenever you see an approaching emergency vehicle from behind, you are required to pull over your vehicle to the right side of the road and come to a complete stop. Secondly, if there is a divider on the road and the emergency vehicle is on the opposite lane, then you don't have to pull over your vehicle. And if there is no divider, then you need to do so. In this clip, you can see an active accident situation where the police and fire department is investigating the accident. Therefore, the road is closed with the help of police cars and not barricades because police cars are equipped with plenty of flashers on each side of the vehicle which can be easily identified by the other road users and they can reroute their trips. Here the flashers are off so no need to stop. So guys I believe this video would have been helpful for you in some aspect and if you like the video please do like share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!